Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, up next, we join a rising boxing prospect to see what it takes to break into one of the toughest sports around. The life of a young professional boxer is not glamorous. These guys sacrifice everything for a dream, a dream that will probably cost them their early mornings, their diets, and more than a few brain cells. Coming up, we head into the Inland Empire to catch up with San Diego native and potential contender, Edgar Valadez, to understand what it takes to get in that ring. Check it out. En Acción, brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. My name is Edgar Valadez. Buscando ambos, tratar de buscar la mejor distancia. I got into boxing, you know, I was small, you know, 16 years old, started training, you know. Uh, fell in love with the sport, you know, so I, I, I got more dedicated to it. I grew up in San Diego, uh, California, born and raised. Um, love the San Diego people, you know, the good weather here. How is the senator Ramon Madero? Ya se mejor se... Ya se mejor se... My boxing styles, uh, pressing forward, you know, a lot of, pre uh, you could say a pressure fighter, you know. I can, I like to be in there, you know. Uh, my amateur career, you know, I did a couple fights only, you know, uh, my age, you know. Um, I did like about maybe eight or nine, you know, and then just decided just to go pro. What it took to turn pro was uh, mainly a lot of dedication and sacrifices and uh, you know, just a lot of love from my family, you know, that pushed me to become my, a professional boxer. My record as a professional boxer is uh, three and all, three knockouts and one draw. I'm uh, pretty good, you know, it's uh, pretty hard, you know, with work, but you know, I definitely uh, find the time, you know, to make the, the effort to, for the sport. And my family, uh, they support me a lot, you know, my dad, my wife, especially, you know, at first, they were a little concerned, but you know, they, they, they saw that I love the sport, so they support me 100%. When I was growing up, the fighter that I was growing up, looking up to, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. Um, right now, I can say Canelo, you know, it's Mexican, but um, you know, those are my main ones right now. Trabaja bien la zurda como arma principal cuando empiezan otra vez los nombres de Edgar, los gritos de Edgar. Buena derecha. How do I see the rest of my career? Uh, hopefully a champion one day, you know, world champion, you know, and uh, have the love and support from all my supporters and family and friends. What I say to them it would be like, um, if that's their dream or goal, you know, don't give up. You know, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication uh, to get to a certain goal or a dream, you know. So you got to pursue it. So like, like me, I, there was times where I wanted to give up, but you know, thanks to my wife, you know, family, and friends, you know, that motivated me and supported me. So I just stick to it, you know, and made my dream come true. Con un peso de 61 kilos, 300 gramos. Hailing out of San Diego, California, USA, Edgar El Veneno.